Good morning. Wow. Um, another great team win. And uh, the thing we're figuring out is how important our fans are to us at home. Uh, this is just a great advantage. They can help you finish out games. You know, people come in the stadium. There's a sea of purple, the chance, the noise. And uh, we're getting used to that. And we're off to a pretty darn good start at home. And, and I think three or four of those, you know, we've been in real tight games and having to finish it. Um, the thing that I wish you guys could all see is when we get into these games and we got to finish them out, the look in our players' eyes, you know, from our coaching staff. And we're looking at these guys and we see a, a razor sharp focus. And then they're exuding confidence, like they want to go out and get it done. And that means a lot to us as a, as a, a coaching staff. Um, the, uh, the other thing I'm seeing from our players and our, our veteran players, you know, they're involved, you know, and we're, we're, we're adjusting these plans. And, and they're part of it. And they're enjoying the process, the process through the week. A lot of work goes into putting an NFL game plan together. But when we can see our veteran players enjoying this process and embracing it and our young players seeing it, you know, that, that's like gold to us. So uh, another, you know, a challenge ahead of us this week. A lot of skill. This team is, is uh, got some momentum. They've won three in a row, and and uh, it's going to take a great effort for us to to, to go on the road and, and finish this thing. Talking about that confidence. Yeah. How much does Darius's play kind of help bring that out of everybody? Yeah. You know, Darius has been a, a great addition to our team. Um, you know, that everybody can see that. Uh, but, you know, just really him coming here in the spring and connecting with his team, you know, he's connected with the hearts of our players, not just, you know, the play you're seeing on the field. But um, we're a team rush outfit. Right now he's getting, you know, a lot of the production. But Daniil is drawing chips and setting things up for different guys, uh, all of our guys in there, you know, um, DJ, uh, Pat Jones, uh, the, the whole group, and, not you know, Tomlinson, you know, right on down the line. But it's a team rush group. You'll see the productivity be spread around. Uh, but but we love him, and he and and he gives us some some added things where we can position him to cause mental stress for the opponent. And what's the uh, thinking if you don't have Tomlinson on Sunday? What you guys might do? Yeah, you know, we're we're pretty well stocked there. You know, our personnel department, you know, brought in extra guys. He's a heck of a player. We hope he makes it. Uh, but it's really just rotate the people up just like we did at the game. Would Lynch be next in line to, to uh, start? It's, you know, if you really look at, at D lines, different than like safety or corner or something like that. We're rotating guys anyway, so nobody's really next in line per se. In certain packages they are, but it's really kind of a team, team outfit there. We'll spread the work around. But Lynch has played in the rotation, but Tonga's in the rotation. They'll, they'll all split the work. If that were to happen, and how do you um, you mentioned involving players in, um, yeah. in game plans and all? How do you do that um, in a practical sense? Like, do you meet yeah. with them? Yeah. Do you just if, have yeah. your door open if they want to come in, or how does that? Yeah, um, I'm always listening. You know, we we put it out there, but I'm always listening and feeling, and whatever they're giving me back, that that matters. And and uh, I kind of misstated a little bit, but they're going to be comfortable with what we do when we hit the field. And I can read that, and I can ask questions, and and so forth. But when you have the the Kendrickses and the Jordan Hickses, and and Z and Daniil and and Harrison, you know those kind of guys. Pat P, you know, the, 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 you want to take advantage of that because it's like gold when you use it. Ed uh, Tomlinson has uh, just become a better pass rusher this year than ever before in his career in terms of his pressure statistics. I mean, what do you think has kind of worked for him, or where has he, uh, you know, developed things that have worked? Yeah, we're just really season. pleased with his effort all around. You know, he's he's having a great year as a as a defense alignment, and the rush is part of that. Um, when you put two quality guys outside of him, you know that that can open it up too. You know, but uh, again, you're, you're going to see. The, um, the production spread around as time goes on, and we're going to position guys. And if somebody starts ganging up on another one, you know, we'll hit another stress point, you know, by the way we uh, present our formation on defense. How are Hicks and Peterson able to, like, positively channel that kind of revenge game energy or the energy of being What's a that? How are Hicks and Peterson able to, like, positively channel the energy of being former captains previously playing for Arizona, like, 
it seemed like there was an extra motivation for them. For yeah, those guys were, were, were uh, ramped up for the game. There's no question about it. I've never seen Pat P that up for a game, you know, or just different because he's usually just a total calm guy. But um, but you that you get your moments when you play your ex teams. We want to just try make sure you stay within yourself. But to mention those two guys, those are those are wonderful guys. You put them on any team, and they're a great asset. And they're a great asset because they're givers. You know, Pat P. He feels like he's it's his job to foster all these young people and and the um, the role model. You know that they're watching him, and he knows it, and it's important to him. I like that. Jordan Hicks. He's he's just a a guy that cares about team and seldom do you see a guy connect that quickly with the team you just to want to give him feel like he's been here what are you seeing when you look at Taylor Heineke on film and just that yeah. Washington offense we played him last year you know and um, you know he's he's a quality player he plays with great confidence he's he's numerous times given this team a spark and you, you can look on team and uh, look on tape and, and you can see they believe in him they trust him, and you know he's had two quality wins right in here, and uh, you know, it's a big game. You know they're, they're they're looking to match their stuff against ours, and and likewise. So um, looking forward to it. Hey, yeah, um, talk about coming up with the nickname, you know, Edge Department for the Edge <laughs> Rushers, and how has that spread? You know, they've got T-shirts now and all that. Uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I don't know about that, but you got to earn everything every week in this league. <laughs> You're 60 minutes away from not having anything, so uh, it starts with your process, your preparation, and and everything. But we we like our guys to have fun and identities, and you know, as long as everything you do is team's that much more important to you, you know, just a millimeter more important to, to everybody around it. But we want our guys to enjoy uh, playing football and having a positive feel for each other. You know, that that's we like that. And the more uh, I'm, I'm going to use the word enjoyment, you know, that they can have while they're doing this, you know, it all pays off for you later. Did you use that term at department previous defenses you had? For no, the no, no, it just comes to us, you know. Yeah, just kind of boom. We, you know, and and you know, we we talk about the edges are part of this, the foundation of this defense, and that's part of the three four, and they stand up and they they got to be violent on those edges. It just kind of came to us, so we looked at those guys and, and their eyes. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, guys. Have a good day.